Hello and welcome to episode six of the Get Left Game Changers podcast. I am your host, Get Left Feezy. Get Left Walt. John, just John. All right, so yeah, like I said, episode six. Uh, the NBA Finals are finally here. We uh, we started our podcast what with the the playoffs just started. Yeah. So you see, we've made it all the way to here. So we appreciate everybody who's been supporting us. Um, Viewing our sh- viewing uh, our show, giving us feedback, likes, sharing our shit, do appreciate it. People who've been coming up to me and telling me like, "Hey, I've been watching your shit." Well, I appreciate that. Keep. I need y'all to comment. I need y'all to share. I need y'all to like. I need y'all to spread this out there because uh, we can't let ESPN saying all this bullshit. So <laughs> if ESPN could be on TV talking bullshit, let me say some bullshit. You actually know me. You don't know them. So yes, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, say we appreciate it. So. It is the NBA Finals starts, today is Wednesday when we're shooting this, but the NBA Finals starts tomorrow. So we're going to do a little a Finals preview. Uh, my team made it, uh, of course, for the, the fifth time in a row. This, that's the first time that happened since uh, the Celtics did it in the 60s. So Or LeBron. Well, LeBron wasn't on the same team. Yeah, on the same team. That's what I said, the yeah. same team. And uh, that's actually dope because we're witnessing history that, you know, a lot of people didn't get to see. That's dope to me. Yeah. So especially living in the Bay Area, it's a, a dope, a dope time. Um, so we got the Golden State Warriors versus the Toronto Raptors. America versus Canada. Uh, yeah, but really, <laughs> it's really Canada and the rest of the United States versus Las, <laughs> Las Vegas and California. Because you know Vegas niggas fuck with the Bay, and then you know Cali fuck with the Warriors. So. Basically, as you see the Eastern Conference champions and the Western Conference champions, who do y'all think? Oh, well, and we got this. We don't know if Kevin Durant's going to play or not. So with the with who the Warriors got that's healthy and is going to play and with Toronto got who's healthy and is going to play, uh, Walt, how many games do you see this series going? And uh, who do you got winning? Depends. Nah, I don't know, honestly. I got the Warriors and six. Or Toronto and seven. No, I'm just playing. Warriors. <laughs> Warriors and six. So, you. What? But I do got Toronto winning the first game. So, you got Toronto winning the first game in Toronto. I think they might even probably win the first two games. Well, if they win the first two games. That's going to be a different story. So you got Toronto winning the first two games. Maybe, possibly the second, but the first game for sure. I need you to say something for sure. I don't know what maybe. I got them for sure. They winning the first game. And we'll go back. So Raptors Raptors tomorrow. Raptors tomorrow. Okay. So uh, me and Walt will also be doing game by game short breakdowns on the Instagram uh, page. So if y'all want to hear me and Walt, uh, Walt's going to wake up after he hit the weed too. So just give him a little minute. But. Uh, we'll be doing short little reviews on our Instagram page. So if you want to hear us, our opinions on the games, game by game basis, we'll be doing quick videos on that too, uh, game by game. So look out for that, because you know the pod's only once a week. So John, yeah, Warriors, Raptors. How many games? Who you got winning? Much as I, much as I hate the Warriors, I'm gonna say the Warriors and six. John, why do you hate the Warriors? I just don't you like moved them. to the Bay Area. It doesn't mean I have to like the team that I moved but to. But you moved to the Bay Area from New York, where yeah. New York has the shittiest team. You moved to Bay Area, where they actually have a good team. <laughs> what have the Warriors done to you but provide nothing but entertainment <laughs> and give you an experience from when you move out here? So tell me what, why you don't like the Warriors. Just, Is it because of me? No. Even though when we did first me, I did tell you that the Cavs were going to win. That's damn near why I don't like John. John did, he jinxed the Warriors in 2016 when I first met him. He was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I'm going to the parade, John. He's like, he was like, you're flying to Cleveland? <laughs> yeah, he was a hoe for that, John. Yeah, yeah. He was talking for like a week after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you said you had the Warriors in how many? Six. So yeah, the Warriors in six, yeah. So I don't expect KD to play at all. At all? No. All the, all the stories come out saying he's not, he's not going to be able to play. I don't expect KD to play either because he, he said he hasn't even done any basketball related activity. So you ain't even went on the court. So if you ain't went on the court and even did a pivot or shot a free throw, how the fuck you gonna go and do playoff intensity? But I'm not gonna lie, if KD, bruh, if you wanna just stand on a three point line 
You don't even have to go back on defense. You stand <laughs> on the three point line on our side, you just stand there. You feel me? And just KB stationary is still good, bro. I think gonna have to use his legs or his calf anyways to jump. I don't even, a lot of people saying it's not, it might not even be the calf, it might be Achilles. Well, uh, Achilles. KB, check it out, bro. You can't risk, if you fuck up your Achilles, you can't play with your money. Stay with the Warriors. We're gonna give you the most amount of money. You ain't gotta play next year. You can sit the whole next year. If you uh if you re sign with the words, we, we still he's gone. Go. Yeah, he gone. We know you gone. I'm just you feel me? I'm just doing my due diligence. He's gone. So I got even with KD not playing, yeah, I got the Warriors in Cinco. Warriors in five. Right. And I can even break down. I got the Warriors winning the first two games in Toronto. Mm -hmm. I was sick. I got the Warriors losing game three because that's some Warrior type shit they would do. They first game at home, <laughs> they would lose. And then I got them winning uh, four and five. So uh, they have to win the last game at home we'll to close out the arena. Damn, you're right. So the only way we could do that is if it was six. Yeah. Or sweep. Yeah. So whatever. Just make sure the parade is at a convenient time for me because I need to get the day off and everything. <laughs> So, as far as this series is going, we know who's the best players on each team, right? We got Steph Curry, we got Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do either one of y'all think that Steph Curry is better than Kawhi Leonard? Better? Uh, I think Steph Curry's better than Kawhi. I never really uh, thought about that. I know they're kind of like two different players, two but different at the end player. of the day, yeah. who would you rank higher on the best player in the NBA because Kawhi is a two-way player. He's yeah. really good. Yeah. But Steph is proven as a proven commodity, a unanimous MVP. I feel like Steph takes Steph takes games over, but so does Kawhi. I would say in a vacuum, Kawhi is a better basketball player than Steph Curry. I think Curry's more impactful. I was just gonna say that, but Curry has a more impact on his when team. When he starts draining those threes, it's over. Well, you agree? Yeah, I agree. So since we know who the best players in the series are, yeah. who do y'all think is going to be the X factors for the series on both teams and why? John, I'm gonna start with you. Who do you think is going to be the X factors on the X factor for the Toronto Raptors? And keep this matchup in mind. This is a different matchup from the Bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna say for the Raptors, that's be a good song. since the Warriors are yeah, the, in the middle. Yeah, the Bucks five, didn't you? Right, let's not bring that up. John okay. had the Bucks of five. Let's not worry about that. Me, John, I was thinking they're not going to be able to play Marcus Gasol that much because he's old, he's slow, and if the Warriors start running, you know, up and down, yeah. they're going to have a problem. With, you know, they Marcus Gasol going to be a liability out there, especially if they they go small. So I don't know. I don't know if Demarcus Cousins is going to come back. He's up in the air as well. Yeah. Uh, if I would, if he does come back, I, I say fucking let him plug. Just see how he does. He can't hurt that. If he if he looks terrible, you got to sit, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we in the they finals. Start, no, definitely not starting. Yeah, you can't start, bro. And yeah, you have to support the bench. I don't give a fuck about your ego or none of that, bro. You lucky you in the finals, bro. You know what I mean? You want to ring? Just do what you got to do. Get ring. <laughs> so I feel like if they, I feel like we ain't gonna see that much of good sauce. So for him to be your X factor, he gonna get X out. Especially because all to, to take all we have to do is put even Gasol's playing. Okay, he gonna get taken advantage of. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He gonna get taken or advantage the, of. Or the or the just gonna have to put Bogut in. Defend, you never know. Be they've been starting Bogut. So. Yeah, Bogut might have to come in. And, we'll uh, see. What Steve Kerr always has some shit up Looney his sleeve. Looney might take the back seat, and, and Bogut might have to come in and start. Because they're not about to bench Gasol, bro. He didn't come to to the fucking. To the Raptors to get benched in the final. No, but it's he, all about he strategy, got all the Grizzlies though. on him yeah. too, man. All the Grizzlies. Nah, facts. It's not about. But at the same time, like if anybody knows the Warriors, it's gonna be the best. Is gonna be Kawhi, Marc Gasol, and Danny Green because they the played. West. Out, yeah, because they came from the West and they played them. What? How many times a year? Three. At least the, yeah, all the Western Conference teams play each other at least three or four yeah, times. Yeah, three a or year. four times a year. So. Them, if anything, them niggas know the Warriors the best just because they had a chemistry or history of playing them. For so long. So who's, so who's your X factor then for the for the Raptors? My X factor, the same thing who's the X factor uh last series, Kyle, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry, I thought it was Siakam. Nah, I said Siakam was gonna do his part. I said Siakam gonna show up. Kyle Lowry's the X factor. Yeah. How much can you expect out of Kyle Lowry? We talked about this last. I don't. Time. He didn't. He didn't do thing. bad last series though. I don't really. Yeah, he had some good games. I don't really expect him to really do too much, but if. 
they want to at least go six or seven with the Warriors, he for sure got to average 18 plus. So I have a question like for definitely. you all real quick. Is anybody on the Raptors besides Kawhi? Okay. Is, there, is anybody on the Raptors better than Draymond Green that's not Kawhi? Who's better than Draymond Green on the Raptors? That's not quite. Siakam is not better than Draymond Green. This nigga. Siakam is better than you see, he just I saw a poll online that said people chose Siakam over. Just because man, he's Siakam not better. Siakam got offense and on, play bro. defense too. No, well, when I did see it, I was like, like he's not the best defensive <laughs> player. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Uh, he's not, he might not be the best defensive player like fucking Draymond Green. He might not. Facilitate the fucking ball. Okay, you're naming multiple things that he can do. Yeah. <laughs> so you got better <laughs> offense than the nigga, bro. He got so because he can score he a couple a, more points. Draymond's assist every time he gets an assist that counts as points, nigga. Siakam. Triple doubles, rebounds, Siakam. all that. Siakam. John. No. no. <laughs> all right, he, I don't think. All right, he's not better than Draymond Green. Kyle but Lowry Lowry's not better than Draymond Green. But nigga, he's up there with Draymond Green. Kyle Lowry. No, Siakam. So would that. you say Siakam? Uh, would you say? Would based you say, off of this year? No. Would you say Siakam is be, is is a Toronto's second best player? Who's gonna be the uh, comeback player of the year? Who y'all got? Mean most, most improved. Most improved. Siakam. So based off of this year, I'm not talking about his previous year. Based off of this year, he's bro. Hip, I mean, Draymond Green is not that much ahead of him, bro. Like they probably neck to neck based off of this year, bro. The niggas is probably I'm about overall. Net. You always want to do specific. Bro, I do overall. Who's of course better. you want to do overall, but I'm talking. Who's we talking better. about now. We talking about now. But, so, um, so you take Siakam over in the playoffs. I mean, Draymond Green has more finals experience, so you feel me? That factors in. That factors in a lot. A lot. Yeah, okay. it does factor in a lot. But I just feel like Draymond Green finna have a good first game too. He finna go crazy. But I, nigga. but I just feel like Siakam still has a lot to prove, and he's just been. Proving everybody wrong all year, bro, and he still has more to prove. He's too up. He's too up and down. We'll he's see. not consistent. He's not consistent. Nah. Yeah, I've he's been not waiting consistent. on him to be consistent, he too. Consistent. Especially when he dropped thirty, I was like, okay. He's not consistent, but I Dang. do see him having some big games this finals, and we'll see. No, I, I see. He's gonna get shut down by whoever we. By Draymond. Him. Draymond's gonna have to guard him. Shutting down. Draymond's yeah. gonna have to guard him. So we're gonna see how that turns out. Honestly, we're gonna My see. My X factor actually for the Raptors is. <laughs> I, I would just say like I would say Kyle Lowry but I don't really fuck with the Raptors so all them niggas you gotta think about I'm too like, biased on this. The last bro. round, yeah. what? Fuck the Raptors. You gotta say the Raptors have no x factors. Yeah, just check it out. No, I'm just playing. No, I gotta go with Kyle Lowry. Uh, he been doing his thing, so I got another x factor. Wait, so really the x factors are who's your x factor for the Warriors, nigga? The X factors are Danny Green, really Danny Green more than Kyle Lowry. But I feel like both of them niggas have to show. Up. Threes. Yeah. I okay, like I changed my X factor. He's gonna be he's gonna be the one guarding Steph. He I better be guarding my Steph. X factor. My X factor is Van Fleet. Van Fleet went crazy. But he's he he's a uh, he's fourteen for the last for his last seventeen threes or something crazy like that. Since his child got born. He's yeah, so he's ridiculous. been going crazy. So that's that's the that's the Raptors X factor. But he gonna get shut down. Don't play with me or us. Play. That's why I wasn't picking anyone that's gonna get covered by like so, Ray or Draymond. Like they're not gonna be able to do much. Good, good answer, that's Draymond. why I was going more of the bigs because they don't have any bigs. All right. So, so all right. So Draymond, Shen, Siakam, down. Yeah. Still hold him down to. The only person who's not getting shut down is Kawhi. Kawhi gonna eat. Kawhi gonna see, they see, Clay on Kawhi. I definitely, all right, I definitely see Siakam getting shut down. Yeah. At least fifty percent of this six-game series. He's gonna have three good games or two good games, you know what I'm saying? There's the two games they're gonna win. His two games that he does good, they're gonna win for you. That's what you say. I got him having maybe one 20 point game. Maybe. One 20 point game? Yeah, the Warriors gonna go crazy. You know what he said? He said he don't, he don't wanna be the next Draymond. He wanna be Pascal Siakam. So for the, uh, for the Warriors, <laughs> for, the, for the Warriors X Factor, my X Factor for the Warriors is Draymond Green. As long as he keeps playing at this high, consistent level, yeah, that's Draymond what we Green need our third All Star. Yeah. We're going to hope Durant will come back. If Durant, Durant comes back. Oh, oh I hope home. Durant don't come back. Durant, come back, drop 50. <laughs> I'll see you at the parade, man. But Draymond goes down when Durant plays. 
but Durant is so good. Oh, yeah. Here. I'm not saying that's a downgrade. Yeah. Durant is, <laughs> I mean, I Draymond saying. is definitely the X factor for the Warriors. For surely. Draymond's going to have to yeah. do his thing. Even though they're going to win regardless. But. Yeah, who you got for the Warriors X factor? I guess I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go Draymond too. That's a unanimous decision, just like my nigga Curry, unanimous MVP. LeBron ain't never won no unanimous MVP. Yeah, and I actually do, that actually don't make no sense because how does haters. how does LeBron not win a unanimous MVP? At least I didn't, one year. no one else won a unanimous MVP. Didn't. No, didn't, he's didn't. the first that ever. I know, but like, didn't Will Chamberlain average like 50 points in the season before? Somebody, who else got a ball for MVP? <laughs> that shit crazy, but hey, Curry, it's not my fault the wettest nigga got the wettest award. That's what I'm saying. So, we already talked a little bit, do we think KD gonna come back? I think we all agree, we don't think KD gonna come back. Nah. So, it's, so, what, so basically we're saying that the last the last time, we've, we've seen KD in a Warriors uniform for the last time. We've seen him. Yeah, for, pretty much. And there's a report. Rick Buecher reported that uh, KD sold his house yeah. in the Bay Area and bought a and is looking to buy a house in New York. That's convenient. But but he did say fairly, everyone's selling their house because they're all moving across the Bay. So it's not just Kevin Durant selling the house. He said everyone's selling their houses. But my thing is that if I was coming to, if I was on the Warriors, yeah. I wouldn't live. I don't know if I would necessarily live in San Francisco. Oh, I would live somewhere dope. Yeah. I, actually, shit, I might live in uh, somewhere in uh, Belvedere or something. Somewhere, give me a dope ass house that overlooks the whole bay or yeah. something like that. Yeah. In the cuts in Marin, that's where you go. Or like that's Walnut that. Creek. You don't gotta really deal with too much traffic going to that's what going I'm only back. Yeah, but you're right there. That's the traffic begins in Tiburon, really. So you got KD leaving? For sure, like hundred percent. KD. I don't um, want him to leave, but. I mean, if he gonna leave, I appreciate you coming. But I seen KD the other day, man. Already. We talked. We got three feet. I'm not really mad at Brad. So when KD like, talk, he says he gone. Sayonara. But if they have uh, him not, if he doesn't play, does that tarnish his other rings? Like they didn't even need you to win? No, because we already know he, we didn't need him to win. He's just no, the, he's because what? they did need him to win. We needed him to be LeBron. That was the fuck they did. But what did I say about LeBron? That you needed that to be. But LeBron. they been on that because <laughs> Katie, already knew Katie that. only won what three? I think KD, It was LeBron was fifteen and three. Yeah, against him. Yeah. Against yeah. KD yeah. Uh, before he joined the Warriors. So KD already knew what he was doing. So because was like, I'm gonna be honest, as but a they, but I'm not gonna like the Warriors. I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I, I didn't see the Warriors beating the Cavs without KD. Like KD. Bro, I feel like KD is the reason why. I mean, they we should have won in 2016. Nigga, y'all should have won should've... in 2015. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. be honest. If, 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 with you. That's what I was just going to say. As a Warriors fan, I would have to say in 2015, if Kyrie and Kevin Love did not get hurt, we would have oh, not. Definitely we would have not, not beat the Cavaliers. LeBron almost beat us by himself. But since we did win, I don't give a fuck. And I was at the parade turned up in that <laughs> bitch with my nigga Stack. So, <laughs> right. oh, well. Okay. So, 2016. Yeah. That we were supposed to win that, and the basketball right. gods kind of gave. Yeah. I mean, we were supposed to win in 26. So, and then then KD just came out of nowhere, and I was like, "What? He got Kevin Durant?" <laughs> and and I wasn't expecting him or nothing. So I appreciate KD. If you want to slide to the bay, win us KD two or three rings, and then get up out of here, I'm not no, mad at you. Crazy. I'm yeah, not mad. If you see a long-term legacy, you might as well just stay and get like five, six rings. That's in how a you row. do it. You get to, you want. You four, you do four in a row because nobody's ever. I mean, because nobody's done that except the Celtics back yeah. then. And and you try to. That's what I would do. I would try, try to see how many rings I could get in a row, and then once we stop winning, then I'll go to the team I wanted to go to. But I get. I mean, I niggas know. is different. You're not winning a championship for the Knicks, Brad. The Knicks is garbage, Brad. They've been garbage Katie, for Katie. for twenty years. It's not the team. It's the it, it's it's from the head down. Well, Dolan has stepped away. He has taken a backseat. So if you want to go, I don't leave the most. Maybe the got best, two rings. Yeah, the best yeah. organization to the the most one of the most boo boo organizations in the league. But he's the not gonna the like na- it. Na- the narrative. If remember bring, what if happened he brings to LeBron. That, if he brings that team, remember what happened to LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, LeBron. I don't LeBron. know the Knicks front office is way better than the Lakers situation. Are you talking about the Miami situation? No, I'm you just saying the LeBron moved going to the Lakers. He, he fucked everything up. Like. The Lakers are so fucked up, bruh. Totally. Because of LeBron? He totally regrets that. No, not because of LeBron. Just because the, the niggas is 
they don't know like they don't know what they're doing, bro. Their front office don't know what they doing. I ain't going out That's shit. That's crazy. Take care but the Knicks front office is doing good. Last them drafting good players, I think. It's gonna be good. I mean y'all got rid of the He wanted to leave, so he you know. The Knicks are doing terrible. They should have kept Porzingis. Porzingis is gonna be good as long as he don't get the player. laughing stocks of the league. No, the Lakers are the laughing stock of the league right now. Right now, yeah, yeah, right now. Well, right. when the Knicks had Phil Jackson, they were the season starts yeah. back up. You know, the Knicks and the Lakers have the same winning percentage for the last like ten years. That don't, that's not saying much. Oh, hey, the y'all want to hear something crazy? Well, that's crazy because the two thousand Kobe won the right, last right after the last championship. Yeah. yeah, but let me tell y'all something crazy that I uh, something I just heard and I had to think about it. I said, damn, you know how they say like the Lakers have like. The, they're in turmoil, you know what? Yeah. The Lakers have been in the finals in every single decade. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010. With, with Kobe winning his last ring in 2010. This next season, 2020, is going to be the first, the, first, the first decade they ain't never been in the finals. Like, that's your man, LeBron for the one. Anyway. How? <laughs> How you going, Brady? Next year? He still got three years. He got... Three more, two, 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 and, two option. and a player option, and he should have went to the Clippers, bro. Two would have been over. Yeah, yep, you'd have had a dope coach, a dope, uh, a billion, uh, 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 owner with unlimited money. Uh, and yeah, he's trying to win. Yeah, that's trying to win, and you would have had uh, Jerry West. Yeah. Should have went to the Clippers, but you can't because it's the Clippers. No, Clippers ain't it. So. I feel like let's get him back to KD. Yeah. If he do play and he wins his ring, cool. If he don't play, he still gets his ring. I feel like he still he still earned that ring. He played the whole season. You seen how he carried us in LA. Like we wouldn't have we you feel me, Steph and Clay was fucking up in LA, so we needed uh, KD then. So if he you know what I mean? Like he earns his he earned his three rings, he, you know what I mean? And if not if he don't play, or if he do or he don't I feel like he's good. You feel like he's less, even if the Warriors win without him. I like like how like we were talking about earl, earlier. I feel like we needed KD to beat LeBron specifically. Yeah. This ain't LeBron. You feel me? Yeah. So. So you guys are all good. The him. worst situation yeah, for the LeBron, Warriors is us to lose the finals and KD leave. Oh, then I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because next year y'all gonna have to see LeBron again in the playoffs. Yeah. Nah, maybe. We'll see. I'm not tripping, though. Like, if we three-peat, I don't even give a fuck no more. You done? Like, 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 I've won enough. Like, but it's like, now I'm not going to be like, oh, like, man. like, damn, bro, I can't believe niggas really lost. Like, bro, niggas just, I went to so many parades, bro. Like, it's like, we about to three-peat, and we already just won a ring before that. Yeah. That's what's crazy. How you going to three-peat? Man, what if just y'all won? Bro, what if y'all lose? That's why I say if we lose, I'm gonna be like, damn. But at least we went back to back. But I am gonna be hot. I'll That's be, a big I'll be I'm very upset. Too. If because I'll be, I'll be more upset that we lost the chance to three P. Not that we just lost the title. I'm like, fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, I need that. Hey, what's your percentage? You think of us chance of winning? Seventy five. Seventy, seventy, seventy. What Sorry. you think? 70. Say sixty five. Sixty five. I'm gonna go fifty eight. <laughs> Good solid number. It is. That's a good number. 58%. So, Steve Kerr was caught recently in a little uh, picture. And he was caught in a restaurant having dinner with Greg Popovich. So, you feel like uh, Popovich was giving him some little advice on how to, on how to get quiet? Or how to defend him? Nah, I don't think so. I just feel like they probably was just he was just giving them coaching. I do feel like he was giving them coaching advice. But no secret info? But I don't feel like he was hey, giving them advice. Well, he's giving coaching advice. Who do you think he's giving advice about? There's only one person at the Raptors. Right. You got to really be giving them advice on just play off the final experience. Mm-hmm. Popper is into the finals. Well, I, mean, just, I mean, I'm talking about coach the finals more than Steve Kerr. So it's just like. Not many more times, though, at this point. Shit. So how many times? The Spurs have only lost like once or twice, right? Yeah. I think he's been just I said Popovich seven, done he's coached done. more finals than Steve Kerr. That's what I said. I know, and that's why I, I was thinking how many games have this, how many finals have the Spurs been to? I know the Spurs they have won, won five. five. They lost, yeah, they lost two. And they lost two? two. I think it was two. One to LeBron. 
the other two. Uh, check shot to you, bit though. Detroit lost to them, huh? Didn't Detroit win the championship? Did Detroit beat the, the, the Spurs? Yeah, the Pistons beat them. No. In 04? No. They lost? Detroit beat no, that was the Lakers. Lakers. That was yeah, Lakers. they beat the Lakers. Sorry, I knew that. I knew that. 05, the Spurs won. Yeah. Who, who won in 06? Oh, it's the Heat. The Heat beat the Spurs? No, it was Mavericks. Mavericks, yeah. 07, the Spurs won. Yeah. I'm talking about what? Oh, 08, the Celtics won. 2009, the Lakers. Lakers. 10, the Lakers. Lakers. 11, Heat. 12, Heat. No, no, 11, 11 Mavericks. No, 4 was 12, Detroit, 13, man. Heat. 12, 13, Heat. 14, Spurs. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, close now. What? Uh, uh, four. They played the Spurs. So... That's irrelevant. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Y'all said the Lakers. I feel like, Lakers, I, feel, I, feel like Pop, I feel like Pop and Steve <laughs> Curry's partners at the end of the day. So yeah, they probably don't make up no idea for him. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Steve Kerr smoked weed too. He said he did, but he definitely smoked weed. No, he said it did to see if it helped us back. He said it didn't. Why? Right. Right. He probably smoking hella. Like, nah, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so, uh, y'all think? Even if the Warriors do or don't play DeMarcus Cousins in this series, do you feel like he should be coming back next year? Do you think he should try to stay with the team, or do you think, yeah. or do you think he's gonna go try to get this most money as possible? Because me personally, I think after he just tore his Achilles and then was running and fell down and and almost got hurt again, he was like, "Well, I'm playing for five million. He was like, "Fuck that, I'm gone. I'll go to the most boo boo team. I'll go back to the Kings." Sign me for however much you gonna give me, and I'll fuck, fuck winning. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta get this. What do you think? First of all, that nigga's hurt. First of all, he's hurt. He's not gonna get a max, but he get over a hundred m's though, and I need that guaranteed. No, he ain't getting. I think most. You crazy? You don't think he's injury prone? No, no, no. I think he's gonna take a similar deal to like this year, a one year. He's gonna take a one year deal. Yeah, we'll go from there. Well, if you want to come back to the war, if Demarcus Cousins stays on the Warriors and KD leaves, we still gonna be good next year, boy. That's why right now he's probably like, let me play. Please let me play. Yeah. I think I think the Warriors should play. Got to take that money. I think the Warriors should play him too if he can. Like, can let him come off the bench like five, ten minutes to see how he goes. And well, then, you know the Warriors gonna have to play him. They don't have to, cause it might get serious in Toronto. I got the Warriors winning both games in Toronto, and all the media are gonna, nah, just gonna nah, talk about all the Warriors. I got a split. I got a split. If if, if fuck the Raptors. If it ends up being a good series, the Marcus Cousins definitely coming in by game three. Okay. That's the game. My game three, game four. But I, I don't think the Warriors look at DeMarcus Cousins as the savior. They look at nah, him. Nah, no, no, no. He's just he's, extra. Extra. Like, it's not like, fuck, we're losing unless we oh, need shit, DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, we need DeMarcus. Unless they're getting killed on the rebounds. Yeah, Gasol and yeah, Ibaka yeah, just yeah. throwing yeah. on the inside. Yeah, Gasol's might, killing. Might just they, throw oh, a big man, body we in need, They're going to for sure need DeMarcus. So, so whether Boogie stays or leaves is, you know, to be seen. I hope he stays. But uh, Kawhi Leonard also has the option mm -hmm. of staying or leaving in Toronto. Now that he's made it to the finals and he's about to, I don't know. How if, funny is it that he made it to the finals without like, even caring? Like, yeah, Vegas. without even giving a fuck about the season. Like after they won the last series, everyone's going crazy and he's just sitting there drinking the water like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, uh, like, like I'm he, here. he didn't even, or he just did like, he he didn't celebrate enough. He, he literally sat the down on the bench. Yeah. And it's just drinking water, like, all right, so I'm here. It's like, yeah. even if he win or he lose, I feel like, I mean, I feel like he's going to leave. But I feel like he should think about, like, bruh, if, if you won. If he win, he getting a statue if he said. You should stay <laughs> in the whole Toronto. You would be the Canada, Michael, man. You would be the, I know, yeah, you would be the Michael Jordan of Canada. Well, you see all the stuff they offer him, right? Yeah. Free, free food, a penthouse, free rides free anywhere. Living. Oh, yeah. my shit. He would be a king. But, but how long is that bargain going to hold up for? I mean, if you win a chip, that's holding up for a long time. They've never been to the finals. If you win a chip, you, you dirt. Yeah. And then you all imagine the best that player in Memphis history. I'm going to tell you that right now. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's going, going to the Clippers. He's going to the Clippers. He's going to the Clippers. He's going to the Clippers? Yeah. You think so after uh, Doc was uh, 
comparing him to Michael. You're going to the Clippers or you going to Miami? <laughs> yep. And, and, oh, <laughs> you watched part of that. So, so yeah, that ESPN had a little special on with Stephen A. Smith, Will Bond, uh, Magic Johnson, and Doc Rivers. And when they asked Doc, how, everybody picked the Warriors who's going to yeah. win. And when they asked Doc, Doc was like, ooh, I don't know. And, and then he was like, what did he say? He was something, he was something like, like, if KD play, yeah, he was like, if KD play, I got the Warriors in six. If he don't play, I got Kawhi in seven. Like, just to, he's trying to just, tamper without yeah, tampering. Yeah, just, just so, so he's basically saying, like, I believe Kawhi could beat him, you know, as long as KD don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I got your back. He was saying shit like, I'm like, oh, I hear you trying to be slick, boy. Yeah. And I like Doc Rivers, though. I like Good. Doc yeah, Rivers. Yeah, yeah. Good coach. So you think Kawhi's leaving? Just as um, Definitely. Even yeah. if they win? Even they win, he's had the same facial expression and just walk out. If they win the finals, I think, he, I think if they win the finals, he would get one. Woo! And then he would, then I'm, I'm gone. gone. They were saying, like, it's crazy how the uh, the Raptors, they were saying the Raptors could win the finals and, and then three weeks later be in a full room a rebuild. rebuild. <laughs> that's like some football shit. That's like, yeah, sometimes football football yeah. teams do that, but that's only like when your quarterback retires. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, but he leaves that. They're like, if they win that, I don't think they would really care. That doesn't happen in basketball a lot, but I feel like actually in baseball too. Sometimes the team that won the World Series the year before is just garbage the next year. So many, yeah, variables in baseball. Yeah, yeah, and in playoff baseball, it's like uh, it's all uh, it's like it's just like a uh, like what's the word I'm trying to look look for? But it's like you never know who's gonna win. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. based on luck and uh, yeah, who's who gets supposed a hot to win? Yeah, and all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. More, right. Hey, baseball coming up soon. You know, baseball is irrelevant until after the NBA is it's over. It's very irrelevant. Uh, the Giants. It's irrelevant until October. Every time, every time I get an alert on my phone, it's another event getting hurt. So, but don't worry, the Giants <laughs> are like sixteen games below five hundred. I even, I even, I mean, you know, that's a record. Oh, I gotta tell both of y'all something. On Friday, Walt, I invited, I invited, invited Walt to a, a Giants game. He, he didn't come though, so I brought I brought uh, my partner Benizi, who was up over here earlier. We went to that game. I had good ass seats, like twenty five rows behind home place, the home uh, home plate, yeah. but like dope ass angle. Uh, the Giants lost eighteen to two. God damn, eighteen to two, y'all. The Diamondbacks oh, God, scored at least three runs every inning. I swear to God, I was like this, and we kept leaving the pitcher in. And then Bruce Bochy, he, it was a, it was a, it was a day. I, all our starters had the day off. <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I picked the Bunkers game to go to. So it was all the bench players were playing, and uh, we lost. They had twenty hits in the game. Twenty Man. hits, nigga. And I know you don't watch a lot of baseball games, but nigga, I've been going to Giants games where the Giants get like six hits. I feel like a regular amount of hits in a baseball game is like yeah, yeah. like nine hits in the, for a team in a game is a lot. That means that oh, yeah, that means like every <laughs> inning that means you got to hit an inning. That's a lot. That's bad, like three hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. So well, I'm saying these niggas got twenty hits. I know Walt don't fuck with baseball. I know we got side. That's a sad uh, so, uh, last season for Bochy, man. Just straight I know, but why am I even here? San Francisco Giants forever, baby. Three rings. Go Giants. <clears throat> Not New York. So. I want to talk a little bit about uh, my favorite player, Steph Curry. Steve? Stephon Wardell. Steve. Uh, Stephen? So, you know Steph Curry has the potential right now. This this will be his fourth ring. He's already had two MVPs. One was unanimous. Were they back-to-back -back MVPs? Yeah, they were. Back Two back-to-back -back MVPs, one was unanimous. And... Three of the rings would, would have came off a three feet, and he would get a. And if KD don't play, he would. Of course, he would win Finals MVP. Uh -huh. So do you feel like? Play Thompson, they say play Thompson, Thompson. 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 Play Thompson is gonna you know, be way too busy yeah. dealing with Leonard that he ain't gonna have time. Because <laughs> Steph Curry's gonna do it. You know, Steph Curry his shit is showy. You know, shows him shit threes. Yeah. You know, play Thompson hit the threes that matter, but Curry kill. So if he get. All, with all those accomplishments, if he achieves that, yeah. do you feel like that pushes him into the top two, three point guards of all time? Yeah. Of all time. 
Point guard. Uh, uh huh. I mean, he, yeah. that would be. That's almost number one. That was, that's definitely oh, top and three. and we have to understand that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time in the NBA history. So you have to add that on to that is part of his resume. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to uh -huh. add that to. I say yes. I mean, he, he, he top, be top three. Top he would three. be top two to me. Top two. Top the only Magic two. above him. The only Magic and. I never got to watch Magic play, so I'm just giving him respect for being, you feel me, who they say he is, Magic, you know what I mean? But I watched all this from Steph Curry and he, Top three. I mean, who, 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 you got to name your top three first, and then we'll go to John to name his I top three. Shit, nigga. I don't remember my top three is, but he's top three. I don't know what order he's in, but he's I'm, in there. Yeah, I don't know what order, nigga, he's in there. I got Magic. Steph, but I don't know my order. Maddox definitely number one. Steph, Steph is like two or three. And then you got to think of Isaiah Thomas, and then you got to think. better than Isaiah Thomas. Then you got to think of like somebody, John Stockton. Steph is better than Isaiah Thomas. He's better than John Stockton too, but John Stockton is like a prototypical point guard. All-time assistant. Yeah. But if Steph Curry win five rings, if he ever gets his fifth ring, he's better than Magic. How many Magic got? You gotta win more than Magic. You gotta win more. Than if Magic Curry gets six up. rings, he start getting into the GOAT conversation, nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. if Curry got six rings, yeah. he would start to get into the GOAT conversation, yeah, Brett. See where, if Curry got six rings, definitely. Legacy-wise, don't, come on now. Nah, that's how you, that's oh, you don't like, want to get there yet? That's how I get crazy. Okay. Nah, nah. You know, Feeds, he's, he's a dreamer, so. So, so that's how uh, that's how how we would look at at Curry, you know what I mean? If if he was to get all these accomplishments, and even if he was to lose, you know what I mean? He still we went three and two final. But I mean, you know, we're not gonna lose. Fuck that. So the other best player on the other side of the series, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, if what what do you feel like, John? What do you feel like the storyline would be? If Kawhi was to win this ring, if he won, he would. I think it would vault him toward being the current best player in the world. If he was able to beat the Warriors, facts. With no agree. other and no other All Star on no. his team, facts. That nigga would be. He would, yeah. That's what you think the storyline would be too. Yeah. He'd beat the Warriors without another All Star on your team. Yeah, he's the best player. I'll facts. tell you what the storyline would be. The shitty part about <laughs> this year about for Kawhi Leonard and for the Toronto Raptors is that the bigger free agent is Kevin Durant. So no matter what happens in this finals, the, the storyline is going to be centered around Kevin Durant. If the Warriors lose without him, the story is going to be the Warriors lost. So you think the biggest story is Warriors lost over a Kawhi one? Correct. No matter, I'm talking about that's going to be the front pay. The front, the news cycle is not, is going to be more that the Warriors lost rather than Toronto won. And that's just unfortunate for the Raptors because of everything, because of the circumstances, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, man, yeah, I can see that, yeah. This I think most people would focus on like how did, yeah. How did they Especially the United yeah. States. Oh yeah, yeah Canada, Canada would be a totally yeah. different thing. Than, Popping, but yeah. I don't think the Raptors don't win. Yeah, I think most everyone would focus on like how did they lose, man. You think Kawhi Leonard is better than Giannis? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's a Giannis. It's a Giannis. Yep. How you Definitely say his name? Antone Kumpo? Antone Kumpo. You think he's better? Definitely. You think Kawhi's better? Yeah. For sure. You think Kawhi's going to be better in three years? Kawhi's been better than the past two years. Yeah, but three years from now. Three years from now? Yep. He's going to be one good beast. Kawhi Leonard's going to be in his probably, probably optimal prime as long as he's not hurt. Maybe, what, 29? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be Kawhi. But Greek Freak's gonna be like 2087. Greek Freak ain't gonna pass him up. If he gets a shot, it's over. Oh, yeah. Bro got that deep. Watching that series, I realized that he doesn't have any basketball moves. He got Steph no more. Curry. Steph, <laughs> Giannis has no basketball pound moves. Pound for pound, Steph Curry is better than Giannis. Just Giannis is seven feet tall. Yeah. Steph Curry Not, better than a lot of these niggas, bro. Yeah, That's Giannis what I'm trying to say. Steph, Steph Curry, if Steph Curry was 6'9, and can still do everything he could do right now. Steph Curry would be the best player in the NBA, bruh. 
Period. Fuck LeBron. So we we really don't know what's gonna happen uh, in the finals, but I got the Warriors in five. I got faith on. At the, at the end of the day, the Warriors know how to win. They've been there before. This Toronto team. Actually, I wanted to say something. Look, y'all watch y'all watch the NBA for a long time. Y'all yeah. know what's going to happen. It's fun to talk about the little storylines and what if and what. But when you look, all the teams, damn near all the teams that was supposed to win won. You know what True, I mean? Yeah. And it's like, you really got to stop and think like, better you know the Warriors are going to win again. So I'll be, Max Kellerman, stop picking against the Warriors every time. If the Rockets can just do this, the Rockets can win. I believe the Bucks and Giannis can win, beat the Warriors. Now he's like, Kawhi Leonard's the best player in the NBA, and he has a shot to beat the Warriors. No, Brad, just, you know the Warriors is going to win. So I just want to say that. So that's, uh, like I said, me and Wool are going to be doing game by game, uh, post game analysis on, on our Instagram page. Uh, maybe I, only a couple minutes long, just quick, you feel me, game by game. Uh, and then on our, we'll evaluate uh, the series in more depth and detail with our guy Just John on the next episode next week because uh, the series won't be over because, you know, it's, it's like three days in, be, in between each game. So uh, we'll have uh, shit to analyze and talk about. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So what up to hold on, we're still not done. What? John, I'm just gonna say, how you just gonna wrap your shit up and say your fucking uh your prediction but then leave us. We already out. said our predictions. Well you said your prediction again. How you gonna Cause say I'm the it? host. You feel left out? Then go ahead. O oh, two, nigga, wrap it. <laughs> I'm lying, Warriors. Four to the Warriors. That's what we're going down for. Winning game six in Oakland. That'd be so weird. That'd be against you. No, that would be crazy, man. What? Wins game six at home. So, um, John made us these nice uh, <laughs> rundown list of topics right here on some nice ass expensive ass. This not regular paper. Yeah, if you listen, <laughs> yeah, that ain't you feel me. That ain't your standard eight by eleven. And so, this motherfucker not flapping either. John, <laughs> John made a, a, a got my topics right here. So I have to ask a quick question: Did Chris Long play for the Eagles? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and he was what position? Defensive end. Defensive. defensive end. Chris Long, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles, now retired, has came out and announced that Super Bowl champion. Uh, yeah, Super Bowl yeah. champion two times. Two times. What are the teams? He was a yeah. Patriots the year before. Yeah, Patriots. The Eagles won. Damn, you're a real boy for that. Uh, he has now <laughs> came out and says that six he's... Six-time Pro Bowler. You gotta say all that. Six-time Pro Bowler. I'm just playing. I don't know how many times... I don't even know, know if he ever made to the Pro Bowl. Maybe twice. Probably like three times. Or once. This ain't ESPN. So. Uh, <laughs> he's announced uh, after his post-retirement that he likes to uh, partake in... Uh, Marijuana activities? Uh, yeah illegal marijuana uh, activities mm -hmm. and I just want to know he's I feel like he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to come out basically and say that NFL players are taking all these drugs pain medications um, and whatnot to get rid of this soreness they're taking shots and all type of shit when you could just uh, partake in marijuana activities and uh, you wouldn't have to put all these other type of drugs in your body that have all these side effects. Yeah. I partook in some marijuana activities earlier, and that's what got me a little bit slow right now. But uh, Just right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, he is a white player coming out doing this type of stuff. Because if you've seen how, what was his name? Some Hardy? No, not Hardy. The dude from the Cowboys. Hardy. Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys... Uh, player that came out, he's like 24. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, fuck it, I retired from the from the NFL. I, just I smoke, smoke weed, weed now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come ass, nigga, that. bro. How do you you work your whole life to make it to the NFL? And when you finally get there, you say, nigga, fuck the NFL, I'ma smoke weed. Yeah, Niggas retarded. Sure. He probably, bro, he probably got a check for like no more than three million. Yeah, bro, he probably invested that shit, nigga. He probably had some good. He probably made some good investments. 
Niggas, that kind of decision. He didn't make yeah. all the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Niggas, niggas, niggas is not fucking about to just stop playing NFL, bro. His dumb ass was. Obviously, he got bro. some nigga money coming you in. You see how look, this how Walt this how Walt think. Nah, that's, that's straight facts, bro. You like, don't know this nigga. This nigga, this nigga, like, this nigga went to college, bro. He's not a dummy. He, nah, this nigga. First of all, three years now he can be. I mean, he's he's don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He's a retard for goddamn. Um, not for uh, putting the NFL to smoke weed, but that nigga probably had a plan, nigga. You probably, that's probably not the main reason. He probably just said that. Like, if I was in the NFL ball and playing the NFL probably t- like six years and I'm out. Oh, I need my check. I'm playing through two through two contracts. Like I think your good. rookie contract is like three years. The rookie contract is like four years. I need man. my big contract. But you would get paid after your know, third year if you're really I that good. the position you yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. So. I get that, my, I get that, you feel me, that bonus or whatever, a new contract up by my third year, retire in seven. Do you feel like, John, do you feel like the NFL is ever going to, uh, uh, what would I say, less harshen their their rules uh, around marijuana activities? Just allow for uh, medicinal I'm purposes? not even saying allow it because look at the NBA doesn't allow you to smoke weed but you can smoke weed if you play in the NBA. You know yeah. what I mean? You get tested maybe once at the beginning of the year. You know, also, yeah. you know not to smoke right before training camp, and then you can blow the whole season. Stephen Jackson said he smoked the whole season. Everybody Matt Barnes too. He said he smoked yeah. every game. You, smoke, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not a big ass deal. Well, Chris Long said that they only get tested once a year, unless you're a repeat offender, then they come at you more. I have a feeling that Chris Long has uh, well, I'm sure he different has an treatment yeah. than other <laughs> people, especially. Depending on where you come from, yeah, how you sure. look, yeah, Chris, you know, and is I'm it sure Chris he... Long's father, Howie Long? Yeah, that oh. goes a long way. Yeah, no pun intended. Uh, 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 that? That's a white joke right there. Oh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> great. Um, I think, think that, I'll probably, I'm gonna probably take. Maybe six and ten years for them to finally from from this from, from this, this year this right moment, now from this moment yeah six that's a long ass time that would be twenty twenty five oh that well, sounds like a good but you gotta think about you have to wait until more states legalize this so it's less of a stigma you know I think they could they could legitimately wait and say we cannot do anything about this until all fifty states until it's federally, yeah federally. federally legal because at the end of the day this is the national football league national means all the states put together, I guess, but. But having a white player came out, well. That's me. I need Tom Brady to come out and be like, I smoke before every game. Fuck TB12 method and fucking weed. (laughs) That is the TB12 method. The TB12 is just weed, man. As soon as you buy buy that nigga's uh, DVD, you put it in, he's like, all right, welcome to the (laughs) TB12 experience. First thing I need you to do is get you some gas. That would be dumbass funny too. Tom Brady's a little corny ass. Tom Brady's my favorite player in the NFL, by the way, if anybody didn't know that. Um, do you, I, I mean, <laughs> I feel like, do you feel like, not us, but do you feel like the general public even cares if if athletes smoke weed? Only Stephen A. Smith's stupid ass comes on and says, I don't want to see athletes high before a game. And it's like, bruh, you're not there. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, first of all, if Nobody's just, if you legalize weed, doesn't mean everybody's just gonna get you. If you already smoke weed, you go smoke weed, you know what yeah. I mean? And if you don't smoke weed, you're not gonna just, oh, I'm gonna start smoking weed right before my games now. Like, oh, shit, legal now? I'm and, then, and then that's like, and then Max, and like, that Max always says, like, alcohol is legal. You don't see players showing up hella drunk to the game just because it's legal. <laughs> like, that's, but, like, that's your only reason. But I, don't, I feel like nobody cares if players smoke weed. I, but I do, I do not think that, especially, Professional athletes uh, should be smoking weed and flaunting it yeah. around because at the end of the day, you are a role model to, to kids. You know what I mean? So just, you can't be Snoop Dogg with it. They should have a policy that you can't, you, you shouldn't be able to drink or smoke on, you know, if you're on the team, you shouldn't be able to drink or smoke on video or, you know what I mean? If you're and taking the video. Media, yeah, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. And promote it. You know what I mean? What you so do in your personal life. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's what I feel like. So I mean that's reasonable to me for both parties. Yeah. Because I understand you do have an image to uphold. 
Yeah, but I think the general public doesn't care. Yeah. As long as they win, I don't care what he does. I don't think, I don't think, uh, John said, who should be the, the spokesperson for, uh, for weed? I don't know, I don't know. Me. NFL player-wise, though, man. Oh, NFL player-wise? Why Marshawn Lynch? Straight facts. <laughs> he probably been blowing the whole time, to be honest. That, that nigga lips niggas get blacker and blacker, and they're about to see this. Like so, I just want to, we're not going to uh, spend too much time on this, but it's going to be quick because I just want to let the public know, Walt, Walt said that Kimball Walker deserved to be on the third team All-NBA over Clay Thompson. How? How? Because, like I told you, he had a better regular season than Clay Thompson. Y'all just feel like Clay Thompson should be there because of his name and what he does. Don't get wrong, that nigga's a player. savage. He's a better player. He's good, but he had a, he, what, we in the 2019, in 2018, 2019? Mm -hmm. The 2018, the 2019 NBA regular season, mm -hmm. Kimball Walker had a better regular season. Wow. He Clay Thompson. You're right, he had such a great season that his team didn't make the playoffs. All right, well, the fuck, I didn't know that the black, hey, hey, is, is this tennis or is this uh, basketball? Is it tennis or basketball, bro? It's not a one man. It's not a one man game. You, how you expect one one person? He's not LeBron, nigga. So don't fucking go there. How you expect somebody who what like a tier two or three above LeBron? Like Magic getting to play the playoffs, bro? How? He had fuck. How did Magic get? No, the team Magic. Bro. Oh, the Magic? <laughs> uh, Orlando Magic? Yeah, the Orlando Magic. They, they, have, have, they, have, they, have, they have better players than the fucking Charlotte. Charlotte but nobody, bums, nigga. Nobody on Orlando is but, better than, than Kevin Walker. But still, but if you could put uh, Terrence Ross, Aaron Gordon, who's that uh, that rookie, and they got a couple of other players. Nigga, them niggas together is better than just one Kemba Walker, bro. Period. I hope so. What do you mean? That's, That's what it is, baby. People. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. Right. So it's like, Kimball Walker you can't is not judge better that than Clay Thompson. I didn't say he was better than player. Clay Thompson had a better 22, had a better 48% shooting, 42% from the three-point line. He had a better season. Defensively. And he well. took the other team's best player every game. Hey, man. You wouldn't, I pick, I you wouldn't pick Kimball Walker over Clay Thompson on the team. You don't know that. I do. Uh, would you then? No. <laughs> no. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the fifth. Yeah, because you, you think they announced them way too late? Like, it should be yeah, right they, after the... They announced all... And did we already talk about this? I don't remember if we already talked about this. They announced all NBA teams way too late. That's bullshit. If you want to make it a regular season award, the last day of the NBA season after the last game is played, or the next day after you announce the all NBA teams... Also, there should be no contract stipulations in the All NBA team because the fucking media votes for it. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, you can, the media true. cannot be costing people millions and millions of dollars based on an opinion. You know what I mean? Either you yeah. deserve this or not. That's how I feel. Yeah, they should do it. Yeah, the last day of the season, the next day, all that stuff being announced. Yeah, all this. Because when you do it towards the end of the playoffs, like having uh, Paul George over. Kevin Durant, it was like, that looks stupid now. Yeah, like, it doesn't even make sense. It looks ridiculous, but like that, it looks dumb. Uh, then you got to try to remember back, like, in the regular season, what happened in the regular season? But the, the whole thing is that the, the whole point of the regular season is for you to go to the playoffs. Yeah. So if the whole point of the regular season is your plan to get a seed so you can have a higher seed in the playoffs, so you can have more home court advantage in the playoffs, why the fuck with the playoffs not matter, like, right? I, I don't know, right? Either make it strictly regular season, don't even, yeah, then stupid. Whatever, though. But I mean, Clay Thompson's better. Clay Thompson's better than Kimba yeah. Walker, and he had a better season than Kimba Walker. Uh, oh well. Go to these stats, he did. 
No, Kimba, Kimba Walker averaged like 25 or 26. I'm not talking about who averaged more. All right, how many of them? All right, remember that, that streak when Kimba Walker was going crazy? Not really. And not. <laughs> I win. It wasn't winning. Oh, my God. That nigga was in tune to, to be sure basketball. I was. I remember Kimba I Walker was going down. crazy, I and they wasn't winning. Down. He dropped 40. You got 50, 50 right? Yeah, man, man. Oh, it doesn't matter if they was winning or not. You can't do it by yourself. I just told you that, bro. It doesn't matter. If he, bro, that nigga's playing with a whole bunch of bums, nigga. A whole bunch of bums. Nick Batum, a bum. Victor uh, Cody Zell, what's his name? Cody Depot playing with bums. Co bro, Victor Depot has a better squad than them. Correct. Cody Zeller, fucking that's Victor better than I, was, was, I, I don't know what I don't know what his first name, but Zeller is not even a starter in the NBA, but he's a starter starter on that team. Matoon is not a starter in the NBA. He is a starter on that team. I mean, that's the They got Jerry, Jeremy, Jeremy Lance. So, I mean, he's cool. so do you think Kimball Walker should re-sign for the max or no. try to go to a better team? But you're going to lose. He, he you're going to lose words. how many million? You lose $60 million, oh, well. bro. Oh, well. And you're not going to remake that with a shoe contract because oh, well. you're not going to get it a contract. Matter. You're because rich. no matter where you you're go. You're already rich. But $60 million. You're already dollars, rich. But think about how much $60 million is enough to make. Like that sixty million that he's missing is enough to make oh, me, well. us three, split it, and we're all rich. Oh, oh, well. You feel me? And that's the shit that he's leaving on. Fuck! Oh, well. I need my sixty million. All right, so you, yeah. so you want to be unhappy? No, no, no. You get signed in the after a trade. You think they gonna sign him and then and then trade him? No, no, no. Well, you can ask. You just make it bad, <laughs> bro. That yeah, nah, nigga. They're not yeah, about to real fast. Yeah, that's not that's what, what I would do. The only way they'll probably I doubt that that's they'll probably trade him within like. Bro, if you give me two hundred, if you give me two hundred million dollars, I'm gonna be happy. I'll make it work. At the end of the day, bro, yeah, I'll make it work. Like, I'll whatever, be, I'll be, yeah, right. I'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be fine. Hell nah, bro. Then you I'll wait till like a year or two that they make the trade. Yeah, yeah. You know that's right? how you do. It. Like, I, I don't want to be here. I'll be honest. I don't want to be here. You I'm say something bad about Michael but Jordan. You're still not gonna get that. You're, you're still not gonna <laughs> you get that. Money. Yeah, you do. It's guaranteed, bro. What the the two hundred and uh, sixty million guaranteed? As long as you get, as long as you sign, you get signed for that, bro. That's just guaranteed. That two hundred sixty million is guaranteed. Yeah, the NBA. Yeah. And they full guaranteed contract. Bro, why do you think Gilbert Arenas He's got kicked out of the league and is still getting paid from the Wizards that $100 million contract? He, si he signed that hundred. It's like a $106 million contract. And then like three weeks later was out the NBA. Not literally, fully, but... Fully guaranteed, man. Yeah, but like the next year after he signed that contract, because he only played, he got hurt. He played three weeks and then something happened. He was out the NBA and he said he's still being getting paid. I don't know Where he going? Are you leaving the Clippers? Hey, Kim, everyone going on the Clippers? Kimba and, 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 and Kawhi. Kawhi. Kimba and Kawhi go to the Clippers. All the Kings, man. Kyrie and KD go to the Knicks. Kyrie coming to LA. If Kyrie, okay, if Kyrie. Well, you say, well the new Kyrie is definitely going to LA. Then, then Kawhi's Kawhi coming to the Warriors. Kyrie, you're fucking smoking dope. Let's nigga. go. Let's go. Kyrie Kawhi is definitely. Check it out, bruh. Ask KD what happens when we beat you in UConn. <laughs> we win hella ring. So if uh, that's what you want to do, is pull a KD and yeah. lose, and then uh, but that's not even pulling the KD because I'm a free agent. Oh, I guess uh, wait, wait, he was a free agent was too. A free okay, agent. never mind. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Kyrie is definitely going to LA. I'm gonna tell that right now. He's I have a feeling that. Why, bro? Kyrie's Come to the Warriors. Kyrie's going to LA. Come to the Warriors, bro. Kobe's all up in his ear. That's all we needed. No, Kobe, no, Kobe came out and said that's not true. Bro, of course he's gonna tell the media that. Yeah. Wow, I need this shit. No, Kobe. Kobe. Is, Kobe doesn't want to talk Bro, about there's it. There's already a big ass mess going on with the Lakers yeah, organization. He doesn't, he doesn't he doesn't want his name yeah. in it. I don't know nothing. Kobe what happened. Kobe, Just in case no one comes, it's like, said, wow, you can say that. Kobe I mean, was already mad at them for bringing his name up in the Kyrie bullshit. not going to the Lakers. He's going to the Lakers. Betty Dump. Bad. 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 He's going. We'll, we'll, we'll see in a month. We will see in a month. We'll see in a month. And Cheese will be back on the show. We'll see in a month. It won't be two hours. We'll see. He'll be in a a yellow and gold uniform. I don't really. I mean, I don't really see him going to Boston. I mean, not Boston, uh, Brooklyn. Cause those, those, those are nobody's options. going to Brooklyn. Nobody's going. Jimmy I don't see him going to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Jimmy, but they said Jimmy Butler might go to LA too. Yeah, I just read a report. They say he was joining. They offer him the max. He'd be there. Yeah, if they offer him the max, he'll be there. Jimmy Butler just wants to get paid. He doesn't give a fuck about getting rings, nigga. That's. He's just like fuck. I want the money. Now, Jimmy Butler would do a Kimba move. Sign, sign, and then I'm trying to get the fuck up out of there. You feel me? That 200 He would make it to where you have to get me up out of here. You know, Jimmy Butler would fuck shit up. Exactly. Yeah. Everywhere he goes. Fuck everybody. I'm cancer. So, 
this is a, a, another interesting topic I got. You like you want to leave? You want to leave? You gotta hurry up. I'm tired. Man. How much? How much more you want me to go? Bro, like five more minutes. You want? I can, I can do five minutes. Y'all just gotta work with me. All right, come on. Okay. So, uh, I got another quick question for y'all. Uh, this is kind of an easy ask. I got a pretty much an easy answer off the top of my head. But what was the worst moment in, in sports for you? With the, are we talking about the teams that you like? Well, yeah, I guess that would personally be your team, yeah. Right? So, what's the worst moment in sports for you, John, with your team? One of the teams that you like? When the Niners lost to the Ravens. Man, that was a great day. That was terrible. I made, I made a couple of dollars that day. I'm sure you made some money that day, too. No, you didn't bet on the Niners. Yeah, oh, the Super Bowl? Yeah, when the yeah, Niners lost, that shit was hella funny. I was yeah, in a house wow. full of Niners niggas. <laughs> dying. Yeah, that was terrible, man. Terrible game. Well, while you think of yours, I'm gonna just tell you mine's pretty easy. Mine was, of course, when the Warriors was a three-one, and then the, oh, they were up three-one. <laughs> also, it was very upsetting in second grade when the, the Giants lost the World Series because Barry Bonds hit like seven home runs in that series, which was like crazy, and then we still lost. So. I'm gonna say mine is. Oh, the Raiders lost that year too. Dude, the Raiders that lost was the that was oh, year. That was second grade. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. Okay, I remember watching hardball, nigga, at the same time, nigga. After finish watching the hardball, just so I could feel better. What you doing? John, that was... That was great. <laughs> so, also, uh, final topic of the day. Final topic of the day. I don't have a lot of information on this, so I'm just going to make up some parts of the story that, bing, bing, bing. that makes it sound cool to me. This is my show. So... Basically, the information I got that's been put out there is Wack 100, uh -huh. who is the game, Blueface, Ray J, his manager. Wack 100, this is also the gentleman who knocked out Stitches? He knocked out Stitches. He had blood, just feel like that. He had a real pyro, blood, you know what I'm saying? So, uh. He's a gangbanger. He had a podcast or a and show? He's a bully. Some, a radio show, some. Mm -hmm. When uh, Mike Tyson was a guest. Now, in previous, if if my information is correct, uh, previous time Wack 100 had mentioned something not in a positive light about uh, the great Tupac Shakur. Not, he always does, all the time. Not in a positive light about him. Now, Tupac for sure. Shakur is a legend Definitely. to everybody. And so, speaking on this man who died at 25, when you look at how big of an impact he had on the world and how he was my age when he died. That's just crazy to me. That that's all the years he lived, right? He did all that. But anyways, he hasn't been saying pleasant things about him. Tupac was Mike Tyson's friend. Tupac would attend a lot of Mike Tyson's fights. That was when Mike Tyson would have his peak. You know what I mean? Yeah. He asked Tupac died leaving a Mike Tyson fight. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Tyson was doing some type of show with him and he confronted Wack 100 is his name, Wack 100, about it. And Wack 100 is not the type that's just gonna back down, back right? down even though it's Mike Tyson. <laughs> now, Wack 100 is, uh, I'm sure you're not familiar with him, John, but he is a very boisterous man. Uh, always talking about how he will whoop somebody or, you know, shit, just, you know, he's a gangster, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, he posted a video on his Instagram, life. very humbly, very humbly of a Kaiser prescription bag with with uh, and like a Kaiser wristband I want to say or something and the point in the caption was like men have disagreements uh I had a disagreement with Mike Tyson today <laughs> and you know basically it was hella humble though like nothing you would ever expect that's like Floyd Mayweather come out not literally but you know how yeah, Floyd yeah. Mayweather yeah, is yeah, you know sure. it's like him coming out like yeah I got beat up today you know, <laughs> you know or Conor McGregor that's even better you know yeah. like Conor McGregor being hella humble like you know, that doesn't make no sense but but except he's not a fighter but so he came out like that and that shit's hella funny so do you think Mike Tyson Really beat the shit out of this, <laughs> this man, and supposedly it's on video uh, somewhere. But they're they're waiting to put it out to get. They're trying to make money. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Pump it like up I on. said, I'm making Mike up some. Mike Tyson punched that nigga in his mouth, and that's what the fuck he said. Mike Tyson punched him in his mouth. John, do you think Mike Tyson is liable to just punch somebody in the mouth on their podcast? 
Yeah. If the nigga's talking shit, you think shit, Mike Tyson is pretty unstable? Up? I wouldn't say unstable, but I would say Mike Tyson's unstable. unstable. You think Mike Tyson's unstable? Yeah. Didn't he catch a rape case? A little rape. I mean, hey, when, you know, what's when an athlete rape? hasn't. Well, what's, a <laughs> what's a little rape case in 2019? So, I don't know if they're gonna let us have another episode after saying that. So, I appreciate, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate everybody supporting our podcast. Uh, like I said, the finals haven't started. That was our little preview, so we went in depth in the team uh, when the finals start. I uh, hope we'll have uh, something to talk about. Uh, this nigga Walt is retarded. Walt's tired today, as y'all can see. You see, we made him sit in the chair so he can't be slouched over on the couch no more, but he still found a way to have his head shit in the shirt. <laughs> he FaceTimed the nigga during the show. He been on Instagram half this time on the okay. show. Because Walt's, that's, uh, that's what Walt do. But he shows up and gives bullshit opinions. And that's what we did it for. <laughs> so uh, until the next episode, like I said, check on Instagram for uh, me and Walt going to be on there giving uh, updates. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, episode four with cheese, is cheese in episode four? Skip about, it's like two hours long. Skip about an hour through and all that shit will be relevant until the next NBA season. If you haven't watched it yet, you can hear you can hear us arguing with cheese and Walt about uh, different NBA teams from the past and uh, you know, over the, the last 20 years with our, our man, Just John too. So Just John. Uh, we'll see y'all next episode. What you doing?